Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Bullo. I'm a Geomatics Consultant at GeoPlus and today I will show you how to classify ground points from a point cloud automatically using Vision LiDAR. Now the first step to do is when you open your project you may check to see if your points have been classified or not. So to do so you can go to view, color by class, and see have any of the points been classified. Here I can check as well in my classes tab, I'll check and uncheck is it class 0, so this is the unclassified class, so I can see that no po points have been classified. Now to move on to my ground classification, I go to analyze and ground, and here I have my ground detection tool. So this detection tool searches for the lowest point within a given cell size, creating a DTM, so a digital terrain model of the area and we'll classify the detected points to class number two. Now slope tolerance, this is the slope within which the next point may be detected. So for very flat terrain, we're going to keep this value low. And for very hilly, very inclined terrain, we're going to bring this value higher. So it really depends on the terrain. Minimum cell size, this is the search radius for the next detected point. So it's going to determine the size of the triangulation. So a smaller value will have more triangles within the triangulation, and a larger value will have less triangles within the triangulation. Now limit by radius. This is an option that will circumscribe the detection within a given area. So to use this function, you must pick a point using the pick tool and you will pick a starting point. Now classification, this option will determine whether or not the the algorithm will classify or not. There's also an elevation parameter. This is the interval within which points will be classified. So if we're looking at the triangulated surface, so the DTM, and we're comparing it to the point cloud, this is the interval within which points will be classified. So in this case, 10 centimeters above the surface and below the surface. All points within that interval will be classified. The Create Surface option is the option to create the TIN surface or the DTM surface, which will appear in our Objects tab. Flatten Outline, this is especially useful if we have a very irregular surface, so this tool will help to flatten that outline. Now to begin, I'd like to normally simply create a surface just to see what my triangulation is going to look like before I run the classification, because classification takes a bit more time, whereas creating simply the surface is quite quick. So I can click on Start, and the algorithm will start detecting the lowest points in the point cloud. And immediately we're found with a triangulation of our surface as well as a small report. As I didn't run any classification, zero points have been classified. This is normal. And here, as I analyze my ground surface, I can see that it follows my ground quite adequately. So in this case, I'm quite satisfied with my detection. Now, as no points have been classified, I may now go to my next step, which is to classify my points. So I again go back to Analyze Ground. And now I'm going to check my classification option. And I'm going to set my elevation um, classification interval at 10 centimeters. So again, I'm going to start my detection. And the algorithm is detecting the lowest points and now is classifying, setting each unclassified point to the ground class. Now once the classification is done, we obtain a small report here telling us the number of points that have been classified. And we also get a surface here that's created. So these surfaces or in the Explorer under the Objects tab, and here can be found in the Surfaces type object. So, for instance, to hide these surfaces, we simply uncheck them, 
and they will be hidden from view. Now one last thing, once we have classified our ground points, we can go back to the classes tab here. We can check or uncheck the ground points, therefore segmenting our ground from our other objects in our point cloud. So this is possible with any viewing method. And that's it for automatically classifying ground points using Vision LiDAR. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and stay posted for more Vision LiDAR tutorials. Thank you very much.